March Madness has come to an end, and that means another successful season for the FSU women's basketball team is in the books. The Lady Seminoles finished the year with a 25-8 record, but that accomplishment didn't happen without the team overcoming a few challenges along the way. This year it was a different season, like compared to my whole college career. We had a lot of chemistry building to do and just finding our identity. I think that that was the biggest thing for us this year. That was the biggest challenge, which is not bad. <laughs> just trying to find ourselves. After an unexpected loss in their season opener against Florida and Gainesville, the team knew it was important to switch gears in order to have another memorable season. I feel like this year's team uh, was so different than last year's team in the type of chemistry that we had to build. This year, I think everyone's decided that, no, we're going to be different. We have to step into new roles. And once we did, you saw that uh, you know, we had an opportunity to do something that's never been done before. The Nose quickly regained momentum, winning their next seven games. And it seemed the team had gained a clear focus. The focus of this year's group was going to the Final Four. I think one thing I heard from everybody was picking up where we left off last year. And pick it up they did. The team finished its non-conference schedule at 10-3, ready to start their ACC campaign. After a loss to Louisville, the team went on to win 11 straight and nearly held on to the team's incredible 31 home game win streak. The Seminoles finished an impressive 13-3 in conference, heading into the ACC tournament. But after being knocked out of tournament play by the University of Miami, this time presented yet another test for the Knowles to pass before NCAA tournament time. Well, you know, I, I think everybody says it's hard to beat a team three times, and you don't want to believe it. And uh, then you get there, and you're just like, ah, this isn't exactly the way we wanted it to be. And I think we were all so disappointed in that, that we came back with a new sense of urgency to go into the postseason, prepare for the postseason, knowing how quickly things can end. And so I thought it, it really did a good job of um, putting us in a position to for everybody to buy in to a role that was so critical to our success in the tournament. The Seminoles jumped into the NCAA tournament posting a fun 72-55 win over Middle Tennessee in the first round. But when asked about the most memorable moment of the season, the sentiment was unanimous. I think the most memorable uh, part might have been the Texas A&M game. I would have to say the Texas A&M game. It was like so much fun, like I can't even explain it. I feel like every single person was on the same page. We were so cohesive, we were a unit, and I think we really found ourselves that game. That win over Texas A&M sent the Seminoles to the Sweet 16, making it their first time in school history to go to back-to-back -back Sweet 16 games. You know, we hosted last year, so this year it was a little bit different. We had to play every game away. And it was just interesting to see how our team changed at that course of the season. Um, I definitely believe that we were a different team going into the NCAA tournament. The Seminole season ended in the Sweet 16 game against number one tournament seeded Baylor. But despite the loss, sophomores Shaquayla Thomas, juniors Brittany Brown and Leticia Romero, and senior Adut Bulgak all received ACC postseason accolades. Thomas, Romero, and Bulgak were each named WBCA All-American Honorable Mentions. The women's basketball team finished the season with a strong record and a number of accolades to show for it. With just two seniors leaving, the Seminoles are ready to reboot, bringing in a number of rising freshmen to continue carrying the torch of excellence. Five freshmen will join the team this summer to prep for another great campaign. The Seminoles signed guards Asiana Galden, Naja Walfalk, and Nikki Okamu, along with forwards Iho Lopez and Jasmine Walker. Next season, I don't know, I think it's going to be interesting being the senior and role changing and bringing in those freshmen and trying to take them under our wing. Um, and other than that, just trying to make it to the Final Four and compete again in the ACC Championship. The 2015-16 season has been yet another one to remember. And with a promising group of returning players next season, it is sure to be a record-breaking year once more. I'm Emaya Bingley for Simmel Sports Magazine.